Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be Act Like an Alpha and a Leader. Well, I've got a really great short email success story. This particular guy who wrote in is 44 years old, he's a successful criminal attorney, and he's found out about my work recently. And in the last three weeks, he's re said he's read my book over 15 times. That's somebody that's a dedicated student, that's the type of person that says, I've had it with the way things are. I've decided I'm going to change because the way I'm showing up ain't working for me. And as you probably heard me say many, many times, that people that have the best success stories, they do the best, they're serious students, and they tend to read the book 10 to 15 times as quickly as possible. And so what's cool is that this guy's always been successful in his professional life, but it did never trans translated over into his personal life. And so just with a few subtle things, some of the things I talked about in the video I did many years ago called Body Language That Attracts Women, you'll just see the instant change. And when you, when you literally, just by the vibe that you give off, the way you carry yourself, how your shoulders are, how your head's back over your shoulders, your arms are back, they're down at their side, or your shoulders are rolled back, your arms are down at your side, it's the difference between being invisible to women and other people and getting noticed and having women seek you out and seek your approval literally from one moment to the next just by how you carry yourself because remember we're all surrounded by people that are pretty much because the average person they tend to major in minor things and because of that they have the physiology of people that are mediocre and majoring in minor things and that's why the subtle subtle things that you do in your body language and your physiology goes, like I said, from being invisible to everybody tending to notice you. So I got a quote that I wrote, and then we'll go through his email. And just so you know, if you haven't seen the, here's the paperback version of my book, pretty thick, 655, 656 pages. As, check the date of this video, because obviously this video is going to be in the internet and YouTube for years and years. I still, it's been two weeks since the audiobook was uploaded to Audible. It's been approved for over a week and a half, and it still hasn't filtered down to all the retail channels yet. So literally any day, maybe, hopefully by the time you actually watch this video, the Audible version will be out on the book. So just keep checking back for that. As soon as the audio is available, I will let you know. But in the meantime, my first book, How to Be a 3% Man, you can read it for free on my website. Maybe you're, this is the first video of mine you've ever watched. So you can go read it for free there and learn the things that this guy is going to talk about and see for yourself, apply it, and then go buy a paperback or and a Kindle version or the iBook version of it. And also, you can actually get the audio version of my first book, How to Be a 3% Man, from Audible just by subscribing and doing a Audible free trial. And right now, at least as of the date of this video, if you go and you do an Audible free trial, not only can you get my book, my audiobook for free, but you'll get one additional one for free just by doing the free trial membership. And if you decide, fuck it, I don't want to stick with it, you get two audiobooks for nothing. I mean, you got, really got nothing to lose. It's a really great thing. If, if you're like I am and you're a lifelong learner and you want to improve yourself, Audible is a great way to go because there's audiobooks out there, 25, 30 bucks a pop. And right now, again, as the date of this video, their membership is like $15 a month, basically. So it doesn't really matter what the cost of the audiobook is, you're going to basically get it for 15 bucks. And if you're a voracious listener or consumer of audiobooks, if you use your one, say you use your one credit per month, what will actually happen is that if you decide to buy two or three books in that month, you'll get 30% off of whatever the price is. So if you're like me, a lifelong learner, it's a great thing, a great way to go. So again, you can get my audiobook totally for free just by doing a free trial on the Audible membership site. So with that said, I got a quote that I wrote and then we're going to go through his email. But again, this is my second book that just came out and this book has nothing to do with my first. I see a lot of comments, people going, is this a continuation of 3% Man? Is this more, it's like this book is Mastering Yourself is all about how to align your life around your true calling and reach your full potential. It's a book on self-reliance. It has nothing to do with dating and relationships. So the quote says, The body language of success is an essential and necessary prerequisite to, to creating sexual attraction. Confident, successful, and happy people tend to smile, make eye contact, give off a friendly vibe, 
and are noticed and respected by all other human beings. Simply making sure your head is back over your shoulders, your shoulders are rolled back, arms are down at your side, and your chest is out, displays that you are proud, content, relaxed, confident, and sure of yourself. Again, that video I did, if you want to look it up originally, where you can actually see me doing these things standing up, is called Body Language That Attracts Women. Displaying the superior body language of success makes you stand out, naturally invites the respect of others, influences them to show deference, become your ally, and to follow your leadership. And like I said, most of the people that you're going to encounter in life are the 97 percenters, as we like to call them. And so just this subtle change in how you show up at work with your friends, if you're out in bars or nightclubs, or you're at a party, or you're just walking through the mall or down the street, just try it. You'll, you'll be amazed at how people notice you, whereas before it's like you were a fucking ghost. You were totally invisible. So let's go through his email, and this, here's another guy that's experiencing the same thing. Corey, I've read and listened to your book more than 15 times over the past three weeks. I've begun to put it into practice, and it has been an epiphany. I am a 44-year-old criminal trial attorney, and I've always been a failure with women for all the reasons you outline in your book and videos. Your exposition of how to act like an alpha, a leader, struck a chord with me. They are the very same behaviors and attitudes that I have used to great success in my work for nearly 20 years, but for some reason I got it into my head that it was somehow dishonest or phony to have that attitude in my personal life. So in other words, he didn't feel comfortable being who he really was. He was worried about the opinions and the labels of other people. It's like one of my favorite Aristotle quotes. He says, the only way to avoid criticism in life is to do nothing, say nothing, and be nothing. And the reality is the more successful you become, the more people tend to perceive you as kind of be, being at the top of the mountain, if you will, the more they're gonna take shots at you just because it's a reflection of what's going on inside of them. Remember, as I talked about in my first book, no one will ever do or say anything to you that is not a direct reflection of how they feel about themselves in a moment. And another one, no one will ever do or say anything to you that you don't invite them to do. Definitely something to think about. So when people talk shit and hate on you, they're not telling you your story. They're telling you their story. And one of my, a quote I got from Wayne Dyer years ago is, other people's opinion of you is none of your business. People project their self-hate, their self-loathing onto other people in order to disassociate from it and take and absolve themselves from any personal responsibility of their own life or their success. This afternoon, I conducted an experiment exhibiting the very, the very same carriage, body language, demeanor, and mannerisms that I use in court and in negotiations, I went and walked around a department store. In less than five minutes, you no, know, he didn't take weeks and months to do this. Granted, he went through the book 15 times in three weeks, which is great, but five minutes in a department store, and look what happened. Remember, he, this is a guy who's pretty much been invisible his whole life, whole life to women. In less than five minutes, an attractive store employee in her early 50s made eye contact with me. I maintained the eye contact and she came over asking me if I needed anything, whatever. I spent about five minutes chatting with her, thanked her for her help, and moved along. Just a helpful employee, right? I didn't get 15 feet before another very attractive woman, this time a customer, made eye contact with me. Again, I maintained the eye contact and she moved towards me. So the interesting thing that, to look at that is that you have a, another woman is observing his interaction with the employee at the store. Has a great interaction with her. He walks away smiling, she walks away smiling. And so the takeaway from that is it gives him social proof that he's safe, that he's, this is a t him talking to women is, is just like talking to any other old person on the street. That makes her feel safe and comfortable to go and approach him because she doesn't encounter that very often. Women know to recognize the leader and the alpha. They, they see the silverback. He says, we exchanged pleasantries and began some small talk when the first woman came back to tell me about something that was obviously just a pretext to come over and talk to me. 
So now she's seeking his attention and seeking his approval. And now you got two women wanting to talk to him. And something I picked up from Doc Love years ago. He says, when kitty cats compete, you win. I mean, the reality is when women perceive you to being successful with other women, they find you more attractive. It's just like in your professional career. When you have lots of choices and lots of options, everybody wants to hire you. When you're broke as a joke and you don't have a job and you're just hoping somebody will give you a shot, nobody wants to hire you. Same thing with money. When you want to borrow money and you, and you don't have any, nobody wants to lend you money. But when you have plenty of money and you don't need any, need any more, everybody's trying to give you money. It's all an abundance mentality and it's all a reflection of how you carry yourself, the tone of your voice, how you walk around, your body language, your physiology. People who are happy, who, who are successful, who are proud, they're at ease, they're relaxed, they're not worried about the future. They bring a calming presence to wherever they are. He says, now I'm standing there saying remarkably little while these two women seem to be competing for my attention. They're not talking to each other. Each of them is talking to me. It's like, ooh, pick me, pick me. This went on for about five minutes. I could not believe how easy this was. I didn't get any phone numbers because that wasn't the purpose of this exercise. But you can bet your ass that I will next time. Thank you, Bob. I mean, it's a simple success story. But like I said, this is like a, a fucking switch. You can just change your body language, your physiology, your demeanor from one second to the next. And again, it's like maybe this is the first video of mine that you watched and you're kind of skeptical and who's this shaved head fuck on the internet with these Under Armour shirts and that big liquor bar behind him and that bubble hockey. It's like, what can he fucking teach me? Just go read the book. If you don't believe me, go to my website, subscribe to the email newsletter. You can read my book for free. Go and apply to do the same thing that this guy's doing. And once you get results, then go buy my book. How many other people have you seen that are that believe in their work and know enough and value it enough to where they're able to give it away for free and people still buy it? That should tell you everything you need to know. Plus, you can get the audiobook for free, like I talked about in the beginning of the video. So if you got a situation or a challenge, personal, professional life, that you'd like to get my help with, I also do phone and Skype coaching on a one-on-one -on -one basis as my schedule permits on a first come first serve basis. I'm usually at least a week or two out before I can get you scheduled in there. But go to my website, click the products tab and book whatever coaching option works for you. And I will talk to you soon. <laughs>